Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome to the lecture on alias structure in fractional factorial design using regression. So, that means you require a defining relation either one defining relation or two or more defining relations and, and then those defining relations will help you to identify the alias structure that means what are the effects that are confounded that is known. So, it may so happen that there will be certain situations when you may not get the defining relations and another one is that that under certain simple condition this defining relations work well there may be situation complex situation when the defining relationship will become complicated and you may not be able to get it get the, the DGR 1. So, alternatively you can use regression approach to find out the alias structure. In this half an hour lecture, I will show you how regression approach will be used to find out the alias structure and with, with, with two small examples. Uh, I told you the motivation, motivation is that there may be situation when which will be complex, design will be complex for example, non regular uh, fractions and there are situations where uh, design in simple which is regular fraction. For example, if I consider 2 to the power k minus p and then which is basically 2 to the 1 by 2 to the power b 2 to the power k design. So, there mean 2 to the power power something this kind of design is the regular design if p equal to p equal to 4 then it is basically 16 runs if p equal to 3 it is basically 8 but suppose a design where we are interested having the 12 experimental runs it can be represented in terms of 2 to the power p this is irregular design irregular so under irregular design case so, a defining relationship will not work and uh, again in some cases the defining relationship is not available like that is placket Berman design. So, under such situation how do you find out the alias structure or how do you estimate the parameters when you go for fractional factorial design that is, is the discussion point now. Suppose you have k factors. So, A, B, C, D like up to k factors you have. So, correspondingly we can say we have x 1, x 2. So, like this x k variables, x k variables. So, you can you can fit a equation main effects model let it be the only the main effects y is basically uh, let it be beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 dot 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 beta k x k plus epsilon. Let we will define it like this, this is nothing but x 1 beta 1 plus epsilon, where y is n cross 1 n number of observations x 1 is basically n cross p 1 suppose p number of effects when we use the only the main effects inter effects are not considered. So, that means p number of parameters considered here beta is p 1 cross 1 number of effects to be estimated and this is n cross 1. So, you know that in the this if I write down then under this situation beta 1 cap is equal to x 1 transpose x 1 inverse 
x1 transpose y that is the that is the formula you have used earlier so this is probably we are saying this is the model you have considered now if i go for fractional factorial and design analogy here what happened you have considered only the main effects all interaction effects you have ignored okay so that means they are uh, in in this design interaction effects are not significant but maybe the full model is a different one the full model or the true model probably true model probably y equal to beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus epsilon then what is your beta 2 beta 2 this may be p 2 cross 1 the remaining remaining factors which are not included in the consider model considered which is true for the true model which is considered and then this may be n cross p 2 the additional design matrix. So, x 1 and x 2 this combine the full design matrix but is the additional design matrix. So, if this is true what will happen then what will happen to the expected value of beta 1 what is expected value of beta 1 cap you all know it will be expected value of x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose y because beta cap is this. So, then then if you write down this further then this will be x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose what is the y true value y true model is this. So, you write down it this is as beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 plus epsilon. So, then this will go to as x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose x 1 beta 1 plus x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose x 2 beta 2 plus x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose epsilon. So, x 1 transpose x 1 into x 1 you know, this is i. So, you can write this as expected value of beta 1 plus this is the fixed quantity will come out x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose x 2 expected value of beta 2 plus x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose expected value of epsilon. So, what will happen this will be beta 1 and this will be x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 x 1 transpose x 2 into beta 2 plus 0 because expected value is 0. So, this quantity if we put at a then this is beta 1 plus a beta 2. This a matrix is known as alias matrix. A matrix is known as alias matrix. So, using regression approach you are able to find out the alias matrix. Now, let us see with an example. The example is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 design 2 to the power. So, example example is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 fractional factorial design design number of factors a b and c defining relation i equal to a b c or we can write x 1 x 2 x 3. Okay. Let so, under this situation what is the design matrix? So, it is 2 to the power 2 full a b and c. 
okay a b and c and i will also be there so i will write here this i will write i this i will write a this i will write b and this i will write c but you have how many observation 1 2 3 4 so i will be all plus 1 then this is minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 this is minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 let for the time being suppose now you have to choose the where you will keep that c which one is where it is plus minus this thing so let us assume that using this concept c equal to if it is a b we will assume the same thing to show that it is coming from regression approach also to prove it so that means c is plus 1 minus 1 this into this minus 1 this into this minus 1 then plus 1 okay so what is my design matrix then x1 x1 is 1 1 1 1 then minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 then minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 then your plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 this is my x1 and let the corresponding y regression model is y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 plus epsilon then beta 0 is our beta eh, sorry beta 1 is beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 so 4 cross 1 so so that mean we have considered a model y equal to x beta 1 plus epsilon where y here is 4 cross 1 this is 4 cross 4 this one is 4 cross 1 this is 4 cross 1 ok then what you have not considered you have not considered the second order interaction third order interaction one third order interaction is already uh, interacted with the uh, confirmed with the average so remaining part is the all the second order interaction part is not considered here so that means if i consider that my true model is y is x1 so this is x1 sorry this one is x1 so now if we consider that x1 beta 1 plus x2 beta 2 plus epsilon where x2 talks about the other other primary so what is the full design a b suppose c a b p c a c a b c so what we have considered we have considered a b c only so that means this portion you have not considered you have i equal 1 2 3 4 this is what x 1 is considered but this is x 2 now this is x 2 a b c is equal to i with the beta 0 part so now if the true model where basically x2 is this design matrix and beta 2 is basically the all the interaction parameters so then our y marriage beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 beta 2 x2 beta 3 x3 beta 1 2 x1 x2 beta 1 3 x1 x3 plus beta 2 3 x2 x3 plus epsilon so this suppose this is our full model so under such situation what will happen to beta 2 beta 2 is your beta 1 2 beta 1 3 and beta 2 3 what about x2 x2 is this this 3 3 by 4 that so you know a b c is known so a b b c all those things you can you can write down as a b c is known a b b c all those things can be found out accordingly and that value is 
basically 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 then minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 then minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So, this is our so there have been beta 1 2 that is a b then it is a c and it is b c. Okay. So, if you use the first model if you use this model where the true model is this then definitely definitely the alias structure is there what is this alias structure. So, you all know a is the alias structure a is the alias matrix a is the alias matrix. So, this one is x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose x 2. So, what is your x 1? x 1 is this what is x 2? x 2 is this. So, x 2 is 4 cross 3 x 1 is your 4 cross 4. So, now you find out x 1 transpose x 1 inverse and all find out x 1 transpose x 2 multiply multiply the 2. Okay. So, hmm, now what is x 1 transpose x 1? Let us see x 1 is or I can write x 1 transpose x 1. So, we can write 1 1 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 1 1 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 then plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 this is x 1 transpose. Then what is x 1? 1 1 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 um, which one this one o plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So, if you multiply this what you are getting now all 1 into 4. So, you will be getting 4 hmm. this into this then this into this plus and this into this plus minus will cancel out. So, ultimately you will get you will get 0 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 0 4 which is 4 into I 4. Okay. So, what will be then x 1 transpose x 1 inverse it will be 1 by 4 I 4. So, in the same manner you will find out x 1 transpose x 2 value will be your like this will be 0 0 0 0 0 4 0 0 4 0 4 0 4 0 0 you will get. Now, if you multiplied now x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose x 2 which is a matrix what you will be getting that is of importance. Uh, let us see the slide that is better you see that a is x 1 transpose x 1 inverse which is 1 by 4 i 4 into x 1 transpose x 2 which is this if you multiply these two you are getting you are getting this one. 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 and this thing and when you multiplied with this beta 2 then you are getting this and simul uh, allowing this you are getting this. Okay. So, then what is the final one? Final one is your 
expected value of beta 1 which is your expected value of beta 0 cap, beta 1 cap, beta 2 cap, beta 3 cap. This you finally got beta 0 then beta 1 plus beta 2 3 beta 2 plus beta 1 3 and beta 3 plus beta 1 2 that is what you are getting ok. So, it is a just matrix multiplication at the end. So, I am expecting that you will be able to find out 1 by 4 i 4 into that x 1 transpose x 2 that value and that value is nothing but nothing but 0 beta 2 3. So, that value means what I mean to say 1 by 4 i 4 into x 1 transpose x 2 this value is nothing but 0 beta 2 3 beta 1 3 and beta 1 2. So, 0 beta 3 beta 1 3 sorry with reference to your this multiplied by obviously the beta 2 part 2 3 bit a beta let us write this beta value only beta 2 value. What is the beta 2 value that you already seen? Hmm? Beta 2 values are your beta 2 first equation this is what is beta 2. Okay. So, I am sure that you are you will be in a position to compute. So, this is what is our now alias structure. Okay. So, now if I go back to 2 to the power 3 minus 1 design where i equal to a b c. So, what I got multiplied with a this equal to b c, b equal to a c, c equal to a b. Now, I want to relate this with this you see a equal to b c is not this this is not beta 1 plus beta 2 3 is not the second one is this beta 2 plus beta 1 3 is not the third one is this beta 3 plus beta 1 2. So, that is what is the regression approach for alias structure determination. Okay. So, let me read out each of the main effect is aliased with one of the two factor interaction which we knew which we know to be the case in this design from using defining relations that is what I have shown in here. Every row of the alias matrix represent one of the factors in beta 1. Alias matrix if you see what is this alias this matrix and then every column represent one of the factors in beta 2. So, there are four every row for beta 1 that is a 4 factors a 4 parameters and beta 2 case there are 3 interaction parameters. So, 3 ok. Now, let us see another example suppose you are considering to the power 4 minus 1 design here there are 4 factors a b c d and you also know that here what will be the i i a b c d will be i if you consider that d equal to a b c that a b c d will be i in the same manner. Uh, if you multiply this this you will get this design. If you do not know, but you can use that uh, minus plus some way and ultimately you will get the alias structure using regression equation that may not be the good one, but it obviously if you choose d effectively the best one you will be getting. Now, suppose that we are basically considering that only the main effects are they are uh, interested and the other things we are keeping under x 2. Okay. So, suppose that the first model like this reduced model is not good one actually it is the total impact is there. So, then what you will do you will find out the alias structure by using x 1 transpose x 1 is this and x 1 transpose x 2 is this and then x 1 transpose x 1 inverse is 1 by 8 into i 5 here it is i 5 because you see a b c d uh, and i. So, that means that 5 cross 5. So, that is why 8 8 8 8 these are coming 
because it is 2 to the power 3 full full uh, 2 to the power k factorial ok. So, then x 1 uh, this matrix if you see that you will see that the first 1 2 3 4 5 6 this column there everything is 0 and later on we will see that these are related to the 2 a interaction parts that a b a c a d b c b d c d like this. So, if you find out beta 1 here basically please remember this beta 1 is uh, is the main effects part. So, then if you if you find out the expected value then using the alias structure 1 by 8 i 5 x 2 x 1 transpose x 2. So, this one if this is the alias structure you see what is happening here in the 2 way interaction parts there is nothing only 0 and 3 way interaction part there are some values. And once you compl uh, complete this matrix multiplication you are getting that beta 1 is this is not the same thing what we have got into the power 4 minus 1 with i equal to a b c d. If i equal to a b c d you multiplied by a this will be b c d multiplied by b it will be a c d multiplied by c it will be a b d and multiplied by d it will be a b c is not the same yes this is the same thing what you are getting here. Here also we have used a b c d like this just to show the show the uh, one to one relation, but otherwise you can use beta 0 uh, beta 1 2 3. So, this is beta 1 beta 0 beta 1 plus beta 1 2 3 beta 2 beta 1 3 4 like this. So, main effect are aliased with 3 way interaction and here you see no two way, two way interactions are aliased with the main effects and that is what we have seen earlier also. Suppose we 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 do in a different way suppose we are interested only in the interaction effects in the first model and maybe the remaining part is coming under uh, the uh, another part and and in in the same way if you find out the alias structure and then what you will get you will get the alias structure of this and when you find out the expected value of the interaction parameters are beta and represent two factor interaction parameters only a b a c and a d here uh, a b a c a d we have not considered the uh, b c b d and other things let it be we have considered only these three. So, then what is uh, you are getting a b s uh, expected value of beta 1 just let me go back yes we have considered only three a b a c and a d. So, then you see that these are interact or aliased with other second order interactions. So, half 2 a interactions are aliased with another half 2 a interactions and that is what you can see um, using defining relation also ok. So, this is the way you have to understand that under a situation when you do not have a defining relation or it is basically a irregular one. Uh, then the design is irregular then what will happen you may face problem in finding out the alias structure and the regression approach is useful one and you please follow it. So, to conclude I can tell you that fractional factorial design is very very important. So, 2 to the power k minus p fractional design is the general one and you will find out that when we write to the power k minus p it is a regular one, but there is no guarantee that you will be going for always design which is 1 uh, one by 1 by 2 to the power p fraction. It may be situation where you will you want a suppose 1 twelfth fraction. So, in that case what will happen it will not be a regular one. So, there will be regular and there will be fraction non, non regular fraction ok. So, regular and non regular fraction. So, non regular fraction k 
case, defining relationship will be complex. There are certain other design like placket Berman design, placket Berman design. Okay. So, in this design what you will find out that the defining relationship does not exist. So, under such situation suppose if you do fractional factorial design how do you get the alias structure that is what the regression approach we explained here regression approach and how you will do regression approach here it is basically you think of a reduced model and any full model or a comp, uh, better model ideal model true model and then under true model find out the uh, the expected value of the parameters considered in the uh, model actual model what you have used so then you will find out that the expected values are aliased accordingly as per the uh, theory it will to be made and that's in that way you will get a alias matrix alias matrix and using alias matrix you will be getting the alias structure so that is what is for this lecture so be very careful read chapter 8 of montgomery very very seriously and in fact all the chapters of montgomery design analysis of experiments which are under this course must be taught by you hmm. I mean, you must read because what i am giving you in this lecture they are from that book and it, it may so happen that some of the things you will not understand in just by going to the first uh, by listening fast for every lecture you require to listen several times this is one you require to read the text given in that book second third one is you require to solve the exercises given in the book and fourth even if that you will uh, even do not understand some of the things but you google it you will get some information but be careful that the google information there will be lot of junk information so you use effectively the forum pose your questions we we will answer you okay thank you very much